so this is our third lecture of autocad so in this lecture we will going to convert some of the remaining draw commands so this is uh, we already have seen the line command today next command we will see will is the polygon command so before starting with polygon we will just clear some of the basics so polygon can be dimension three ways that means you can give either edge length you can specify the face to face dimension or you can al also specify by giving the corner to corner dimension so polygon can be created uh, using three parameters three type of parameters so either of the way you can give it S uh, in this polygon command so three of the options has been considered by three ways you can draw it if so for age length age method is directly given for face to face circumscribed about circle method has been given if dimension is face to face you have to use circumscribed method and if it uh, dimension is corner to corner you have to use inscribed method so those are the basics for polygon so we will try this polygon command here now so suppose we will go to polygon then he is asking me enter number of sides so here minimum you can give three edges and maximum one zero two four edges suppose i give six edges enter then he is asking me the specify center of polygon so i am giving this as a center point then he is asking me two methods whether i want to go for inscribed in circle or circumscribed about circle suppose i draw it by inscribed in circle then he is asking me specify radius of the circle suppose if i give five as a radius then the, that five distance will be from center to corner if we measure it with this command then we can know that it is from center to any corner that five distance is there that means corner to corner distance is 10 so if you use uh, inscribe method the distance will be corner to corner and uh, we will try next method number of he is asking me number of side 6 then center of polygon then circumscribe suppose next method is circumscribe so here also you will notice that it is uh, asking the radius from center to the mid of the la mid middle of the face so here i will give five suppose so here that five distance will be from the center to the middle of the edge if uh, we can try it again with distance command suppose from the center to the any middle of the face that five distance is there so that means face to face the distance will be 10 so in this way this face to face method circumscribed we have used and the th for third uh, parameter that is age length we will be using third method so number of sides again suppose six then center of polygon so here in spite of s s giving the center of polygon you have to take here age method is there so here you can right click and say age then he is asking me specify first endpoint of it so i will click the first endpoint then he is asking second endpoint so if i want it straight then i have to make it orthon or f8 so it will come edges will be a straight edges then here i have to specify the length of the edge suppose i want five as a edge length so it will draw a polygon of edge length five so here edge length will be five if i check it by this command so this edge length is five so any of the edge length will be five so in this way by three methods you can create the polygon so we will see after that we will see rectangle method rectangle command so in rectangle command he is asking me specify first corner point then he is asking me specify other corner point so this is a free end rectangle if i want to draw a rectangle with some parameters then i, I have to give rectangle command specify first corner point then here dimension option is there so you just right click and say dimensions and th then he is asking me for the specify length of rectangle suppose length of rectangle is 10 and he is asking me width of rectangle is 5 so here rectangle is drawn but still he is asking me specify the other corner point that means i want rectangle on which side so uh, i will specify the side by clicking a point so in uh, in that position that rectangle will be drawn so next is arc arc command so uh, you have to specify three points so it will draw arc 
passing through those three points and if you have different parameters then there are number of methods has been given in the draw menu bar draw arc three point and as per parameter you can choose the suitable method or number of times what happens ki you have to create arc by trimming the circle so number of times it happens suppose uh, we if you see one example suppose uh, here some object is there like pulley type arrangement is there suppose some tangent lines are there so i have create this but i don't want this internal so i will trim it so here these arcs has been created using trim command so maximum times what will happen you have to create the complete circle and then uh, trim the circle to create the desired arc because that is a simpler method so in this way you can create the arc then next is circle so in circle we have already see, uh, seen in lecture 1 how to draw with uh, radius same way you can draw the circle using diameter also if you have diameter you can create the circle easily just a circle then give the center point then here diameter option is there so you just right click and say diameter and give the diameter so uh, the circle will be drawn with the diameter given diameter so in this way you can create the circle using diameter same way there are some other methods are also there for circle if you give circle command you will see here three methods are there three p that is means circle passing through three point two p is passing through two points and ttr that is tangent and radius that is tangent to two object and radius to be given so suppose uh, we will try what is three p suppose i have a triangle and i want to create a circle passing through these three points so i will say circle right click three p and i will take midpoint of this midpoint of this and midpoint of this so it has created a circle passing through three point same way for two point suppose i have these two lines and i want to create a circle passing through this two point so i will say circle right click 2p then this is my first point second point so it has created circle passing through two points same way suppose if i want to try tan tan radius suppose i have two circles with me this is one circle this is other circle so in the same line i will create other and i want to create a circle tangent to the, these both of circles so i will say circle right click tan tan radius i will uh, then is asking first tangent point so i want this uh, my circle is tangent to this circle and this circle then he asking me the radius suppose 3 is the radius so it has created a circle touching to two so other circle tangent to to other circle same way you can create a circle tangent to circle and line also it is not necessary that both should be a circle or both should be a line so you can create a circle tangent to circle and line also you just give the radius suppose 2 is the radius so it has created circle tangent to circle and line so in this way you can create tangent to lines also so those are where the circle command then this is a revision cloud so if you want to mark some uh, data for revision then you can use this revision cloud so to create this revision cloud you just cl click on that command then specify the start point and just you don't you don't have to click you just have to drag your mouse around the object which you want to mark you don't have to click it it will automatically create and when start and end point will come closer it will automatically close that command and end that command so you can also control the size of the arc by here the arc length option is there suppose i want to increase the arc length so i will say arc length so minimum suppose i want to reduce it i want to make it smaller so i will say minimum is 0.5 and maximum length is suppose 1 so it will create comparatively smaller arcs so in this way you can use the revision cloud command then next is spline command so spline command is useful to show the breaks some breaks are there so to create a spline you have to click on the spline then give the first corner first point then make ortho off it if it is on then just specify the point in zigzag mode one point above and one point below so in that way you can create the 
spline. After that, uh, give the enter and he is now asking me specify start tangent. So as I rotate the line, the shape here is controlled. So uh, whatever shape you want, as per if that is uh, shape is set there, then you just click the line. So as per requirement, you can control the shape by clicking the line. So in this way, spline is created. So next command is ellipse. So ellipse can be created using two method. So we will say first method ellipse. Then asking me specify axis endpoint of ellipse. So you have to give one point. Then I want a straight ellipse. So I will press F8. I will make orthon. Then he is asking me the diameter here. What is the diameter of the axis? So if I say 10 is the diameter. Then he is asking me radi uh, radius of second axis. So first I have to give diameter. And after that I have to give the radius. So here the ellipse is created or the other one more method is there ellipse then give right click and say center specify the center and specify both the radius from here how much radius uh, you want suppose I want 3 radius and same way vertical radius suppose 5 so in this way ellipse is created so in this way by two methods you can create the ellipse then there is a point command is there if you want to create the point so it will create the points so you can view this point in different style also for that you have to give format point style and select the desired style suppose i want to view my points like this so it will be shown like that suppose if i want to draw a line from one point to other point then i will say line then i to catch this point i have to use node object snap by shift right click shift right click say node and click on that point so it will exactly catch that point shift right click node and click so in this way you can use the point to create the object also and uh, one more command is in draw menu bar so it is donut if you want to create a circle with some thickness so suppose specify then is asking me specify inside diameter suppose one is the diameter outside is two so in this way you can create a th thickness circle with thickness or if you want to create a filled circle then you say donut and give inside diameter of zero and outside suppose one so it will create a filled circle so the for electrical people it is very useful for showing the wire wire point wire connection points so in this way we have completed some of the draw commands so we will stop here thanks for joining